Hello, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to play uh, the piano chords accompaniment part to August by Taylor Swift. So this is, of course, played on guitar. So what you heard me doing in the intro, I've done an entire video on before we get started on why I add, add extra notes. So it's just a tutorial to explain in how I do that using popular accompaniment rhythms. I'll, I'll briefly go over it in the tutorial, um, but it's really just to try and imitate the strummingness and um, the fullness of a guitar. And obviously it's harder to replicate that on the piano, so we have to come up with other ways to get this similar effect. So it's just not adding extra notes, I'm just repeating extra notes within the chords that I'm playing in a more rhythmical way. So I'm going to sing each section, but it is very repetitious, and I've also left the full chords and lyrics everywhere down below, so go and check those out if you find them useful. So this one's in the key of F major, so on the screen now are all the notes to the scale of F major. So the chords are formed using those notes. Here is middle C for reference, just so you know where I've positioned my camera. I kind of play mostly within the bass mid region. So locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano. So it is basically the same four chords all the way through. I'll teach you the first chord. So I'll teach both hands together because we're only playing root notes in the, in the left hand, but to make it sound f more full like a guitar, you can mostly, I'm mostly going to be playing in fifths in my left hand. So the first chord is an F major root position. So you play the F major triad in the right hand, F, A, C. In the left hand, you can just play F and C, like that. So in terms of making it sound more guitar-like and more full, it's better to try and play, have two notes undo fingers in the left hand to give you more options. Again, this is all explained in the video I've linked. Salt air and the rust on you. So there we've got, um, it's a B flat major seven. So in the left hand, you can play B flat and F. In the right hand, we need A, so that's the major seventh note, and then D and F. Salt air and the rust on your door. I never needed anything more. So there, all that. And um, you can play just a G minor chord if you want to. So G, D, G. B flat, D, or if you wanted to add the seventh in there, it is in there sometimes, you can add an F natural on there, on the top. And the verse just consists of those three chords. Salt air and the rust on your door, I never needed anything more. That's just holding the chords down. So in terms of... So if I try and do that slowly, I'm trying to imitate uh, the actual strumming pattern of the guitar. If you can play a guitar, you'll know it's like an up to down. So... Um, so I'm sort of playing it all together, playing, repeating my thumb in the left hand. Have a play around yourself. I highly encourage you to experiment with rhythm, play around yourself. Imagine each of your fingers is a different like part of a drum kit or something like that. So again, just sort of repeating my thumb.
major. Second inversion, so either single C or C and G. I think it sounds a bit too boomy down there. We play single C or octave Cs in the left hand. In the right hand, we're going to play G, C, E. So I have, as usual, trying to be specific about the order that the notes are played in, so you're not moving your hand around all the time as well. Not every chord needs to be played in root position. So I'll do that again from the chorus. But I can see it's lost in the memory All can slip away to a moment in time Cause it was never mine And I can see it's twisted in bed sheets All can slip away like a bottle of wine Cause you were never mine Then straight into the second verse have a walk down in the bass if you wanted to add that in so between going from the B flat major 7 to the G so back at school so the bass line is following the vocal melody line so I'll do that verse again but this time you're just going to hold the chords down like this but I can see it's lost in the memory all gets slipped away until a moment in time cause it was never mine and I can see it's twisting in bed sheets all gets slipped away like a bottle of wine cause you were never mine Salt air Again, it's the same chord progression, so I'm just going to continue.
So it just continues. Cause you are never mine. Never mine. But do you remember? Remember when I pulled up and said, get in the car and then kiss on my lips just in case you come. Now come on now, say my father, love it all, father, love it all. Me, me behind the mall. around the same chords. So here we're going to play an F major chord once on the left hand and then you're going to come up and play F major second inversion so C, F and A Change it to a G and then an A. So we've got and then change to either B flats and F there or B flat octaves. And in the right hand you're gonna play D, F and B flat. So not B flat major seven this time. And then you're gonna flip those notes around so that B is gonna go there. Seven. You can noodle around and noodle around on the C and then do that again. So from the F noodle around. And then you're gonna come up. This is just a suggestion. Then you can play that chord progression as an octave higher until it fades out. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.